What's up, USS Chris? My name is Benny, and I'm about to take you guys on a tour to my one bedroom, one bathroom palace. Let's go. You guys ready? Boom! All right, let's head over to the kitchen. Here we have my electrical stove. I personally installed this because gas stoves are more prone to fire hazard. Even though the electrical stoves cost a little bit more in terms of energy use and is a little bit less efficient, gas stoves, they're actually more fire hazardous because one, they could have gas leaks and if you have an open fire and there's a random gas leak in your house, it will explode and it will catch on fire and that'll be a no-no. Now here's my living room. Now I personally like to open up all my windows because I like to have a more natural cooling instead of relying on the AC and the heating the heater because they put less stress on the electrical system because if you have a lot of electrical things going on you could blow a fuse which could blow the fuse box which could burn your house down Hello guys, welcome to my room and I just wanted to show you guys something real quick when you guys are not using your electronics, make sure to turn them off and then unplug them. Also, to never cluster your plugs into one power strip or outlet or else it will short circuit and it will burn your house down. So make sure to turn them off and unplug them. Did you know it takes 10 minutes for a normal house to burn as opposed to a cellulose house? It takes one hour and 10 minutes to burn. What is cellulose, you say? 80% recycled materials and 20% retarded. And the cellulose increases the fire resistance up to 78%. So if you want to buy the product that we have, you can call this number and it costs about five not two, but $20,000. Welcome to my backyard. And this is where I have all my barbecues and hangouts. And there's my fire pit over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys doing? That's not how you start a fire. I've seen this on the History Channel. I'm pretty sure I've seen people start fires like this. Look. All right, first of all, you guys have to back up from the fire. And you would want to remove all the debris and dry vegetation out of the way so in case there's a wind, it wouldn't spread the fire out and blow away. Also, you must always, always have a backup plan. So you guys should have a fire extinguisher or a bucket of water near you just in case the fire gets too wild. And one very, very important thing is to never ever leave your fire unattended. Alright, and that's the end of this tour. The palace fit for a king of one bedroom and one bathroom. Oh shoot, I almost forgot. You guys should always have a working smoke detector with the replaced battery. I'm gonna show you guys how to install this onto the wall right now. Basically, you have the wire and you have the smoke detector. As you can see, these three Plug in there and twist. And now it's working. Alright. Now I bid you adieu. And hope you guys can come back another time. One more time.